good YouTube. I got a 283 point playmaker for y'all today. But hit that like button and hit that sub button. Turn on the post notice too. But we're going to get right into the build. We're going to go point guard with this one. And we're going to go 6'1. So take your weight all the way down to minimum. And your wingspan, you're going to want to go 6'3. Rock out like that. And first, we're going to hit the shooting. So max out your three ball. Your midi, you're going to want to go 82. So you're getting 32 shooting badges. And you got badges like Hall of Fame, Stop and Pop. That's really going to help you green almost every time coming down. No lie, you got 32. You got Hall of Fame Mismatch Expert. But your free throw, we're going to go 70. And right then, we're gonna, we just going to go right to the playmaking. So max out your speed with ball. You're getting 94 speed with ball. Ball handle, 87. And we really could go 89 to get the Hall of Fame stop and go. But for real, for the gold is just like the Hall of Fame. Not even going to hold you. It's not, it's not a big difference, but you getting gold unpluckable and your pass act, you're gonna go 87 on that too. So we getting 32 playmaking badges and you getting the gold needle threader. So you got all your playmaking badges, gold or hall of fame, going 90 on the pass act. That's gonna give you the gold dimer, but bruh, no lie to silver is hitting, bruh. Your squad is definitely going to be able to hit with Silver Dimer. And really, bruh, coming from the lower 30, I mean, not the lower 30s, bruh, the lower 80s in your pass act, going 90, bruh. Just think about that. You putting eight points on your pass act just to get two more badges and playmaking. Like, you just, it, it's just not a good, a good deal right there, bruh. I'm not even going to hold you. <laughs> But we're going to go 87 on the pass act because you need those badges, bro. So this is what we're going to rock out with. And you really don't need to go needle threader. I know a lot of people don't even rock the needle threader. But we're going to go to the physicals. And you're going to go 93 and 93. So those really perfect speeds. But your vertical, you want to go 70. Stamina, you're going to go 92. Rock out like that. And on to the defense, bro. No lie, your defense is fire, bro. Because you get in gold pickpocket, gold unpluckable, and your perimeter, you're going to max that out. You're going 86 on the pass. I mean, not the pass, like I'm tweaking. You're going 86 on the steal. So you get in the gold pickpocket, the gold interceptor. And, bro, those really, like the pickpocket, I'm not even going to lie, it's better at Hall of Fame, but you got to put in so many points. It work at gold, but definitely Hall of Fame is really, it's, 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 a, it's a good gap between gold and Hall of Fame pickpocket. I'm not even going to hold you, but... It's a big gap between silver pickpocket and gold pickpocket because, bruh, I would not throw on silver pickpocket, bruh. I, I really got a couple extra defensive badges, so I throw it on sometimes, but then, bruh, it's, bruh, it, it really, I really just don't get on ball plucks when I should. Honestly, I still get bump steals more than I get, like, straight picks, not even gonna hold you, but the gold pickpocket because my build only gets silver pickpocket i ain't even gonna hold you i went with 84 on the steel because i was finessing on too many too many badges on on my main build and i forgot to put it at 86 on the steel but with 84 still bro yo i still get on ball steals it's just bump steals we gonna go 86 on this one and that's gonna give you that gold pickpocket that gold pickpocket is gonna have you actually getting them steals because i get gold pickpocket on my second build and bruh it's definitely hit i'm not even gonna hold you but your block rating we're gonna max that out now we're gonna go 57 so we getting the chase down and bruh you getting 17 defensive badges you getting the clamps 
just where you need it at, bro. That's really what's recommended. Silver and the bread is still right and that's really what's what's gonna make your build valid on defense not even gonna hold you because if you don't got steel on your build this year bruh i don't know you might have to erase that build bruh <laughs> i'm not even gonna hold you you gotta have at least 60 on your steel bruh with just like bronze bronze interceptor or something but we're gonna hit the finishing so we getting the contact dunks on this build bruh we're gonna go 84 on the driving dunk. And we actually went 90 on the stamina. But we're gonna go 84 on the driving dunk. And 64 on the layup. Yeah, for a fact, that's it right there. So 52 on the close shot. That's really gonna do it when you max your driving dunk. 64 driving layup. We not getting the long athlete layup package, but bruh, you really don't need it. I'm not even gonna hold you. I played for a while without changing my layup packages because I really didn't even upgrade my finish until, bruh, <laughs> so long. Like, I just put my driving dunk at 84 and just rocked out like that, bruh. Put the VC on that and I upgraded everything else, bruh. But finishing, bruh, my layup, bruh, I, I just don't take layups. If I'm coming in the paint, I'm banging out. I'm not coming down there playing, bro. You feel me? But this is what we going to rock out with right here. You got 13, 32, 32, and 17, bro. Really a fire amount of badges. And we're going to get to the takeovers. So you got slashing, shot creating, sharp, and a playmaking. And we not getting a lockdown take with this one, but, bro, got some more heat coming from you. Not even going to hold you, bro. <laughs> I got you. We're going to go with the sharp and the playmaking take bruh so depending on what order you want to put it in bruh for real for real you could go with the with the shot creating take first but we gonna we gonna go with the spot up then you could throw in a playmaking take probably rock with team ratings boost and bruh yo anytime you got the takeover bruh yo like if if y'all pop the team take, bruh, because, yo, my big man popped the team take twice a game, bruh. I'm not even going to hold you. I get my take at least once or twice in the red game. And really, if I don't get it twice, it's just because my big man already got it twice. <laughs> I got it once. He got it twice for the team and everything. I don't be getting the team take, but I'm not even going to hold you, but I be getting my take. But you got a two-way three-point playmaker. And we're going to get to the badges. Max that out to 99. And you're going to max out Limitless Takeoff, bruh. Yo, Limitless Takeoff is different, bruh. For real, for real. I just switched Limitless Takeoff. And, bruh, I noticed a big difference, bruh. I'm not even going to hold you. I had Limitless Takeoff on silver. And it was, yo, it was decent. It was decent for what you trying to do. You trying to get to the rack real quick. Got on a decent dunk package, but bruh, that gold limitless, bruh, is different, bruh. For real, for real. It's a big difference between silver and gold, but it's, it's really going to help you finish. Uh, as soon as you get to step past your man, bruh, you really could take off. Even with low post riser, I think, bruh. Not even going to hold you, bro. Yo, I think I still got bronze posterizer on, bro. I don't got it on gold or Hall of Fame. I don't get Hall of Fame, but I don't get it on gold. And I know for a fact, bro, it's, it's either silver or bronze, bro. But I know for a fact, bro, you're going to be able to catch contact dunks with these badges. And you're going to be able to take off. But you're going to throw in the slithery. And we just going to rock out like that. That's really perfect. I'm not even going to hold you. That's a perfect amount of badges for exactly what you get. But for your shooting, we're going to go gold on the blinders, go dead eye, go green machine, stop and pop Hall of Fame. Green machine, you really could go silver. Really depend on what you're trying to do. But mismatch expert, I would probably throw it on gold. Sniper, you could go Hall of Fame. Rock out like that. Or go here 
and then throw on like your volume shooter go and bro yo no lie hold on yo that's fire bro i really wouldn't even because if you go hall of fame on sniper you can't even go volume shooter because bronze volume shooter is garbage i wouldn't go bronze or silver if you want to throw on bronze volume shooter like it's cool you're gonna get a small boost but i really just wouldn't even put it on because you could get bigger boosts with other bronze badges and everything so this fire that you can split them both in and two badges gold and gold sniper is almost like hall of fame bro like it's, it's really right up under there but on to the playmaking so we getting gold ankle breaker go bullet passer hyperdrive quick chain and really bruh depending on how you want to split it up i know you want to go hall of fame on a quick first step handles for days go unpluckable you gotta go gold so yeah i definitely would set up the points like that maybe go down quick chain to silver and then put on your bailout and maybe glue hands just to make sure you're catching it in transition and i know a lot of people are going to want to split up badges like bro you could even take down your bullet pass or put on the stop and go or take off your ankle breaker put on a space crater but it's a lot of different setups you can use not even gonna hold you onto the defense clamps interceptor intimidator hustler pickpocket and menace so you're gonna max those out, bro. Yo, again, perfect amount of badges, bro. Those are the exact badges you need. But I'm gonna hit y'all on the next one. And don't forget to hit that like button and hit that sub button. Be easy.